To draw a Roman triumphal arch, you're going to need a pencil, a pen and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, to start off with, we want to draw a box. So draw a vertical line and then um, and then a trapeze. So you want these two here to be parallel and then we want another one that's parallel about there and then that will just go up slightly and that's going to go down slightly like that. And I'm going to make this not quite so wide. About here we want to have a line going across there and here we want a line going across there like that. The arch is going to be, so make sure there's a little very gentle line down the middle so you can work out where the arch is going to go. And that's going to go sort of equally on either side like that. Then you're going to be wanting two columns which will be roughly about there. And then here we're going to want to have um, like a block on the top like that. Just going slightly above. Now I'm going to switch to pen and I'm going to go straight across and slightly wider. Straight across, slightly wider and then I'm going to go down at a little angle on each side. Come up and across like that. Then here I'm going to draw uh, this box and I'll draw two bits going up like that and draw another little bit on the side there so you've got three on this side and then we're going to want to have uh, a bit going across the top like that and you can have a little bit there and a little bit down the side as well here we're going to have something else like that again so that's going to go out so these are kind of um, These are kind of bits that sort of separate it. I'm trying to think, I can't think what the word is for them. You're going to want to have another curve in there as well, by the way, and that's going up there. So these are like, uh, this is like a dado really, I think we might call that. And then we can bring that round in a curve and that down to there. This is the ground that will go across there the ground up like that and across and up like that right that's that bottom part finished <laughs> you can forget all about it bring that down there and that down there then up at the top here we want to do something like that again so we're going out and down like that at an angle and that's going to go there back at an angle and across down 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 that's your top section done um, we're going to want to have a little curve and a thing like that with sort of a couple of lines in. And then these are going to be the column capitals, tops of the columns. And then, oh, let's draw that line down there as well. And then we want the ca uh, bottoms of the columns there. So this is trying to make the columns nice and easy to draw. So they're going to be going up and down like that up and down like that up and all right down and up like that now at this stage when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase those pencil lines and then here we're going to draw a little line across and up and around that's going to make a little niche in there so we can put a little head and a little person in there a little toga kind of thing and we can have a head and a toga like that so there's somebody inside there and then we can just do a little bit of shading like that so just sort of goes in behind there like that maybe a bit of something around there as well just to make it a bit more fancy and above it draw two little boxes with some writing in it like that and then here we're going to want to have some something fancy brickwork like that going around there like that and maybe two kind of roundel things in there so you can kind of fill it up with all sorts of bits of stuff and on this side we can draw two um, 
squares like that fill another one in there maybe and we can maybe put another one of those roundels in there like that and then here we're going to want to that'll be the ground uh, do wiggle wiggle up and across and then this is just going to be something else in there and then we're going to just just do kind of scribbles and then some little heads on the top <laughs> so these are going to people on the side it doesn't need to be terribly <laughs> brilliant and then here we're going to have um you know the bit telling you how clever the general was uh to win the war and what this whole thing is all about and then you're going to want to have uh maybe another one in there like that which will be telling you something or other and then here we're going to want to have some shade so we'll bring the shade in like that and cross hatch it like that and then we can maybe put some hatching on the ground like that just to kind of put it on the ground like that and maybe a little bit of cross hatching just to darken it up a little bit and then you maybe want to have um, the horizon in the background just to uh, put it all in the right place and then we can maybe put some little lines in there just to make sure we know what's well what's what a bit of shade there and there you go how to draw a roman triumphal arch real easy thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye